congrats on the series. Congrats on, of course, moving on to the Western Conference Finals, which as an organization is the first time in over a decade since 2010. Um, but for you, your first time in the playoffs and here you are going to the conference finals, I guess it, it may seem kind of simple, but just how does that feel for you? Um, it, it hasn't sunk in yet, um, <laughs> but, you know, it's obviously, you know, a dream come true. Uh, obviously, you play this game to win basketball games at a high level, compete, uh, just like all your idols have in, in prior. And, uh, you know, I'm in a situation where we have a great chance to win a championship and you know, it's important to me, it's important to the group, and uh, I'm, I'm very excited. Of course, as you know, each series presents uh, different challenges, new challenges. What do you think you guys learned as a team within this series alone that'll help you guys moving forward? Um, you know, you can't rattle us, you can't rattle us. After the first game in uh, Portland, you know, they're really hyped, getting after it. Um, you know, we stayed calm first game of this series. Houston coming in, um, hype, you know, we just, didn't let it phase us and you know, kept attacking, kept being who we are and you know, playing basketball. When it comes to this downtime, obviously there's no um, opportunity, I guess, if you will, to start any earlier than Tuesday. You guys had that six day break between rounds one and two. How do you prepare yourself and make sure you're ready for that next round whenever it does happen? Um, well, first, I'm going to get a little mental relief. I'm going to wake up about 8 a.m. and I'm going to play about 18, 27 holes golf. That's <laughs> first. And then, um, you know, uh, watch the game tomorrow. Uh, see, see, see who wins. So, uh, you know, the biggest thing is just controlling us. You know, that's, that, that's, that's the key for us. All right, Brad Turner, please. Congratulations, Coos. You just mentioned something about mental release. Um, Danny Green talked about that yesterday as well, about trying to stay focused, wishing you guys had some other things to work on. How, how tough has it been to be in a bubble to play these games, have the stoppage, go back and play again and try to win when you know so much is going on? Uh, I mean, it's a lot. You know, um, you know, this is a great sacrifice. You know, obviously, you know, people think it's easy being here, but it's not. We're not with our families. Obviously, we have our families here now, but, uh, you know, um, you know it, it's very repetitive. You wake up, you see the same buildings. You, you sleep in the same same walls every day. So, you know, it's, it, it, it can get a little depressing, a little bit of uh, anxiety. But, um, you know, you just got to stay strong and uh, just find other ways to relieve yourself outside of basketball because here it's all basketball. Um, you know, whether you're playing games, you got practice, you got filmed, and uh, you go on Twitter, you go somewhere, it's all basketball. And, um, you know, that's not necessarily uh, the best thing for you, um, for your brain at least. Uh, so you need those type of releases. All right, you guys can go ahead there. Uh, Kyle, um, what did, would you learn in this series about defensive game plans? I know you talked uh, last series about when you guys did your games. More with James and Russ than you learned. Um, you know, every every series prepares for the next. Obviously, Dame and CJ uh, helped us out tremendously. Um, and, you know, preparing for Russ and uh, CJ, or my bad, Russ and uh, Russ and Harden. So. Uh, you know, it's all about the game plans. You know, every opponent is different, but you know, you can take bits and pieces from each series and kind of add to the next, and you know, really just uh, dissect your uh, offense and defense from there. And also to follow up, um, you talked a lot about your your need to be a valuable defender. Um, how, how do you feel like you made progress, and then where's your confidence at? Um, you know, I, I think I'm I'm making really good progress. I got a lot of progress to make still. Um, I want to be a great two-way player. And you know, this is this is a great year for me, great learning year, you know, just to learn how to play basketball the right way, winning basketball, um, you know, giving myself up for the team, and you know, just doing whatever they need me to do. And um, that's on defense, and you know, I'm just taking the challenge and enjoying it, and, you know, just embracing every day, uh, becoming a better basketball player, and uh, you know, trying to win a championship. So. All right, Kyle, I'll take one more for, if we're done there. Uh, Julio? Hey, Kyle, um, the Lakers are able to play small ball, also big, big, using big guys. What stands out the most from the Lakers? Sorry, uh, my secret. Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I apologize. My, sorry. What stands out the most for the Lakers 
besides the, the, the other four teams that are playing right now? Uh, the biggest thing that we can just play big, we play small, we play in between. You know, we got a lot of versatility. Uh, you know, I can get in there and play shooting guard and have a big lineup or, you know, play Brown at the five or, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, we're, we're just high IQ basketball players, uh, great versatility, and we all, we all want it. And that's the most important thing. All right, I'm good, Kyle. Thank you. Yep.